Good afternoon guys and welcome to another vlog. So today we're going to a place called Land of Legends which is based in Antalya, am I right Christy? Yes. Um, it's a water park. So it's, all, it's also in Belek where we're staying so it's not far but it is a water park and it's also a theme park as well. And have they also got a shopping centre in there? I, th I believe so, yeah. Yeah, it's something we've not really done much research on. Um, we've decided to go today, it's 12 noon, so we're going to head there now, get a taxi. Yeah. Um, and Seb's even brought his own money with him. So today, Seb will be treating us all. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go and grab a taxi. I'll let you know how long it takes and we'll see you at Land of Legends. So the taxi has arrived and we're just going to head to Land of Legends now. I think we're going to get uh, two taxis. So we're just uh, passing the Black Markets, that's where we was the other day. So we've just arrived at Land of Legends. Looks like a, it does actually look like a shopping mall. So just for point of reference, if you ever get a taxi in Turkey, they'll give you a card and they will always come and pick you back up so you don't pay now you just pay afterwards but let me show you the land of legends as you pull up it's a very very grand en entrance it's a aqua park it's shopping and there's roller coasters here as well so yeah it's a new experience for us um, but i'm led to believe it's really good so christy's headed on there just to see what the cost is and we'll let you know what the entrance price is so we're just in the queue now and Christy's just paying, just to let everybody know. The price is £40 for an adult and... €40 Euros per adult. £40 Euros per and adult. And £32 for a child. Believe it or not, I even said that without moving my mouth. So, we've never been here before, but have you ever seen any videos from this place, Seb? No. So, do you know what you're looking forward to? No. Are you looking forward to it? Yes. That's the right answer. So. Yeah, we're going to go in with an open mind, but I'm led to believe from what people have said at the hotel, it's a really good place to go. Teddy, have you ever been here before? No, I've actually And what's it like inside? Is it cool? I've only really seen like POVs and I've been inside, so it looks right. really good. Would you say it's on a par with places in America? Are they ours? No. Not that. Uh, maybe. Have you been to Volcano Bay? What do you think this compared to Volcano Bay and what you've seen? Depends, I'll, I'll tell you after. Yeah. After in the water. So the outlook is really, really good, like I showed you earlier. It's absolutely massive. Right, well, we're in now. And just for anyone uh, wondering, when you go in, you get a wristband. Um, but yeah, we're in now. And this is the main entrance as you come through the park. I, I believe it'll be quite quiet today. And we've come in at 12.25 and the park shuts at 5. So we've got, we've got four and a half hours in there. Straight away as you walk in, there's a bigger souvenir store. This place really does remind me of um, somewhere in, in like Florida, you know. You, you know, it's themed really well and you know, it's a nice place. For anyone who's interested, there is a big donut stand just as you enter. And if I just walk this way, there's also a place called Shaky Cool that sells all your uh, beverages. They do slushies, beers, and everything else like that. Oh, and just spin around a bit further, and there's a candy floss store. So I think this is um, one of the main entrances where there's all your, you know, there's a Starbucks there as well. We just carry on walking around. I'm just talking quite loud because there is music on. What we've decided to do as well is go to the theme park first, and then after that we'll go to the water park, obviously because we don't want to be going on uh, any of the rides wet. But yeah, as I said there, there is a Starbucks, I might actually grab a quick coffee now. One thing I just want to advise everybody is, we've just gone to order some drinks from Starbucks. You must put money on your bracelets, so they don't accept card and they don't accept cash. So we queued, queued up, ordered the drinks, and then the lady said, you must put it on your bracelets. Now, at reception, they didn't mention that, so that's just one point to really uh, be aware of. We're, go we're gonna now go and load our wristband up. So this is the uh, wristband loading point, so we're just gonna go there now. So I don't know if you can make that out, there are the uh, actual um, exchange rates. So we've just added 40 euros onto our wristband, and we're not actually sure what type of, what we'll get for that, because we don't know how much things cost. 
But the lady said, if there's any money left at the end, you just come back and we'll just refund it to your card, so that's good. So we're gonna go and buy a coffee and I'll let you know what coffee costs here. So for 40 euros, that's how many Turkish lira we've got. So let's go, like I said, let's go and get a coffee and let's see what that really equates to. So Seb has gone back to his old ways and he's gone back to the Oreo. Thank you very much. Seb? Is that better than an Oreo ice cream in Tenerife? Is it good? Can Daddy have a lick? It's very good. Hey Christy, you know something? I might actually get one myself. Get me one as well. Disney, eat your heart out. We've got our own castle here at Land of Legends. So we're just heading into the fifth dimension now. To be honest with you, we're just following the crowds here. But I'm led to believe we're walking towards where all the rides are. Um, I'll show you when we get down here. It's actually quite a vast park, this. So the, here's the map, you can see it's absolutely massive. I don't actually know what that ride is though, but it's in the background, but it does like, look absolutely massive. It really does. And there's quite a lot of construction work going on here. I don't know if they're building a, another hotel or another land. Uh, from that sign there, it says it's a SpongeBob, a Paw Patrol and Star Trek land. So we're just heading to Hypercoaster now, see if it's open. So this is the entrance here. Everyone else has already headed in, so let's see what this what well, this is all about. So as you walk into the Hypercoaster, we've got the uh, it's like Hogwarts, isn't it? We've got the Hive, the Harry, <laughs> got the Harry Potter vibes. What, what do you think of the theming, Christy? Do you like it? Oh, it's fantastic. I think we've been spoiled with Universal, haven't we? I really do. So we are now just awaiting um, departure. With this ride here, they've only got one car running, so it's not it's not necessarily the quickest, is it? And I said, I said to you, if this theme park would be busy, it would be an absolute nightmare. Because there's only been about 20 people in the queue waiting for you about 15 minutes. So let's see how the ride is. I'm, I'm thinking the ride is going to be a good one. So tell me what you think of that ride. Really good. Actually, I was pleasantly surprised with that one. It was really, really good. Yeah, the initial uh, climb. climb I did close my eyes. It's very high. Show very, them. very high. Show them the high. Yeah, I'll show you. Well, the ride was absolutely excellent. Let me get the boys' uh, verdict on it when they when we when I find the one. I already showed you this earlier, but that is the height there. Give you some sort of indication. That's the crane there, and it's still a lot higher than the crane. So we're just going past a ride called the Galleon. Reminds me a bit of a. Um, it's called Ripsaw at Owen Towers. It's actually closed. Uh, just down for a bit of maintenance, I think. So the last coaster we went on then, I need to rate it out of 10, what do you think? A 9 out of 10. What do you like best about it? It was fast, wasn't it? Yeah, and it had a lot of like... Inversions yeah. and twists and turns. So what we're going on next, we're going to the family coaster? I think, yeah. Yeah, so let's head to the family coaster. Teddy's just grabbed a few snacks while we wait for the next ride. Before we go on the family coaster. Here, do you know what the prices was or are you not sure? Yeah, <laughs> It's expensive though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice toy. Let me see. Oh, a princess toy just yeah. for you, Teddy. Is it good? Yeah. We always ask for a rating on this channel. Rating out of 10. An eight. What flavour is it? Oh, you don't mess about, buddy. Dad has found his favourite drink. You know something, though? It doesn't taste the same over here. Such it is a little bit different, isn't it? Mm. Um, we've got some Pringles. We're going to go on the family course today. So Christy spins you around, which is just behind. We'll just get a little snack break before we go on. I think the boys have gone over there onto that. Yeah, there's a, like a ring toss game, which they're not doing very good at. Auntie Jo and Christy are ready for their uh, family coaster. And so Seb, rate that family coaster. One. It was very poor, wasn't it? Yeah. For a 25 minute wait, it wasn't that great, was it? But Basically, a worse version of that blue one. Yeah. It, and it, the blue one had a, like, 
Last yeah, so family course. It's okay for little kids, but it's not that great. So let's see how Bobby gets on now. Can Bobby do it? Go on, Bobby. Shit. Bobby's already got these excuses. Let's see how he goes on. Takes a very steady hand. Right, one. So guys just decided to take the plunge on this one, do you know what it's called? Yeah, it's called the Galleon. I filmed it earlier because it was closed, but it's obviously up and running now and the boys have already gone and jumped in the queue. So, so uh, you better get going and I'll film you all on it. Okay. See you in a bit. There they are, they've just got on the ride now. So you can just see there's Bobby and Lily. And on that side, Gaz and Seb with Seb looks so little on that. I think they're going to live to regret this one. I think they'll be feeling sick when they come off it. There's Buddy and Teddy, they've just gone on this ride. It looks absolutely thrilling. I think they've had the best time of their lives on that one. Oh, Let me ask you a question, Buddy. How thrilling was that ride? Very scary. Was it? It looked it. Oh, Teddy's going back on. Are you going back on? No. Why? Scary. Too scared. <laughs> Bobby's there, just enjoying the tune. <laughs> Here we go. What did you think that ride was well then? You were loving life on it. It did make me feel a little bit sick though. Mm. But we just stopped off some chips and these were a hundred lira. lira So what does that work out in English? I have no idea. About three euros, right? Yeah. Yeah, about three euros. So not bad. Are they good the chips said? Yeah. Are they good? So this ride here reminds me of the, I think it's called Battle Galleons at Alton Towers where you get absolutely soaked. Do you remember the Battle Galleons at, at Alton Towers where you get soaked? Do you not remember it? Hey Christy, I was just saying on the camera though, this is like the Battle Galleons in it at Alton Towers where you get yeah. absolutely oh, soaked. Yes. Yeah. Near the Wickerman. That's the one. So we are now going to head towards the water park, aren't we? We've done a couple of hours in there, we're going to do a couple of hours of water park and we're going to see what that's like. So there's actually a lazy river here as well. Which obviously goes all the way around the park. I think that there is um, like just the area that we're going to go and sit in now and you can see all the water rides in the background. For me, and we were just talking about this off camera, this place is a little bit, I don't know, I feel as if uh, the identity is a bit confused because I don't know, it just uh, it doesn't flow very well. Volcano Bay, eat your heart out. So we're just going to head down towards the wave pool, find somewhere to sit, put our bags down, and then we can obviously um, you know, go from there on the ride. I just want to show you guys these safes. So you go to um, the bar or something, you pay fee. And they give you a receipt with a code and you put the code in there and then you can put all your valuables in there so it's probably good if you've got a phone, a wallet, stuff like that in case you wanted to go in the pool so the boys have been in the wave pool today what was the wave pool like? was it okay? it was very cold yeah today cold. is a really really overcast cold day and I'll be honest the water park is really quiet yeah. but they're going to do a ride here, they're going to go on the tower falls the wait time is zero minutes be honest the park is absolutely dead isn't it i say we get on it quick before it starts raining. yeah and it looks like it's going to rain so do you want to go on this ride yeah i'm going to wait here i'll hold your stuff and let's see what the ride's like let me know okay so the boys are getting the rubber ring i think it was rock paper scissors to go at the front i'm going to try and catch the boys up there to be honest with you if the weather was a lot better today i reckon this would be an awesome water park for me because <laughs> i'm a bit of a wimp it's a little bit cold today, so I won't be going on any rides. Let's see if we can catch the boys from up there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, was the ride? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. It was like a nice ride. I'm like close to you. Fast? Was it fast? No, not really, but no. it really hurts your feet when you're walking up. What, on this floor? Yeah. yeah. It hurts. You could really do with some Crocs on. Look how, are you cold? You guys, yeah. look, you look a little bit cold, Ali. Right, do you want to go on another ride? Do you want me to follow yeah. you? Yeah. Right, okay, so which way are we heading? Should we head we're going, to... No, we're going to the biggest one in the park. What? closer, you know. Let's head that way and let's see what we get on next. So this is the ride we're going to try and get on next. I don't know where it is with the entrance, but it looks absolutely awesome. So, boys, let's go and find where we get on this ride and let's have a go. I think it's found here. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't know if you can make it out there, but I can see Teddy and Seb going up the steps right up there. And it looks like there's literally no one on the ride. Because I've been sat here for about five minutes and nobody's come out yet. There the boys are. Go on. That was awesome. That what was the rating on that one? Is that a that really was good one? Eight, because yeah, when you went down it, it went pitch black. Pitch black, you're joking me. Yeah, and and when you went down there it went. Yeah, it can like. Well, that, so, that job is steep. Oh, I know. I, I actually caught that on the camera. Yeah. So, if you, when you watch the vlog, vlog back, you'll see that, Teddy. Yeah. So, do you want to go and do another ride? Yeah. yeah. Should we go on that rainbow thing next? Maybe we should head towards the rainbow one. Let's go and have a look. There's actually a wild river here, which is like the one of Volcano Bay, and it looks really good. Um, as you can see, there's nobody on it at the moment. I don't know if it's actually closed. I can see this section is closed off. But it is, it says it's open till 5 p.m. Um, but I just think the water park is really, really quiet. So the boys are trying to find the entrance to the rainbow coaster. I think it's like a water coaster. Um, so they've just got up there. So we'll go and try and find the exit so we can see them coming out. So I'm just waiting by that for coaster now because this is where you get on and you also get off. Um, but while I'm here now, I just thought I'd spin round now. I'm going to speak over the music because I don't want to get a, a strike. There's actually a massive area here for all the kids, um, you know, which looks really good. And one thing I'm going to say is, if the weather was better, this pl place would be absolutely amazing. You know, it is a great place. I just think we've been let down by the weather today because it's, it's not that warm, I'll be honest with you. So Christy's going to be popping off now to do go and do a few yeah, shots, are you? Yeah, we're going to have a look at the shops of all the girls and then... We're going to meet up in about yeah, half an hour. And see if there's anything that takes my fancy. So the shops here, I'm led to believe, are actually all real shops, aren't they? Yeah, all the stuff isn't fake goods. It's like a proper shopping mall, like you'd get at home or... Yeah, like the traffic centre. Anywhere, yeah. So... I'm going to stay here, wait for Seb to finish on this coaster, yeah. and then we'll and come then and we'll meet catch you. Up a bit. Because uh, I know what Bobby told me earlier, there's actually a shop that sells loads of Jordan products, Michael Jordan. Yeah, well, I'm not bothered about that, but, but yeah, I we'll have. see you in a bit. See you later. <laughs> so the boys are getting loaded on now. Let's see what they think of this ride when they get off. So John was timing then. Uh, 2 minutes 27 for the ride. Quite a long ride really, isn't it? I know you're a little bit cold. Seven, Teddy that and Buddy. That was sick. Was it good? Yeah. So, you guys have been to Florida. Do you think it's better than the water coaster of Florida at Volcano Bay? Do you... Yeah, that, that's better than uh, the Crack Tower. Is it? No. Have you ever, what about the one at Siam Park? Do you think that's this is the best one? Yeah? yeah? Very good. And look how blue you are. I think it's time for us to go. So we're going to head out the park now. So after an enjoyable day at the wall park, I'm just now heading into the shopping area to go and find Christy and everyone else. Um, so let's see what this is all about. So this is a shop me. It's quite a, an amazing uh, shopping area. It's like a little mini Venice with a, the gondolas. I need to find Christy now because I've no doubt she'll be trying to spend some money. This guy's on a speedboat. He's not playing no games. <laughs> so 
So you've actually got like stores like Adidas, you've got an Intersport. And this uh, Bayman shop here sells all your real designer wear. Um, yeah, it's quite an amazing place. Uh, there's a really good candy store just behind us there, and uh, Seb just popped in there to get some chocolate now. We're going to talk quickly because we're in the candy store and Seb's got some Oreos. But the music in here is absolutely banging, so I don't want to get a strike. But as you can see, this shop has got everything. I think I'm going to treat myself to one of these. And Christy's going for Lotus Macaroon. That really uh, concludes the day at the Land of the Legend. Yeah, it's been a real fun day. But let me recommend something to anybody who's thinking on coming. If you're going to come, I would recommend doing them. Doing two days, yeah. so you can do a day at the theme park and then a day in the water park. Uh, it's just not enough really to do it all in one day, as we've found out. But we still had a really good day. And yeah. don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. So don't forget the free to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when our awesome videos are out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!